In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control this servo motor using the joystick. Here is what you need. The Arduino, the joystick controller, and a servo motor. Don't worry about this, this is just to make it look cool. I got all these in this kit from MicePlay, which I will leave a link in the description if you are interested. Let's get into it. Before we look at the code, let me show you the wiring real quick here. By the way, this is the user manual from MicePlay website, which you can download here for free. Uh, on their website. Also, you can download the code here from their website, which you can use with the component of the Arduino kit. Let's go back to the user manual and look at the wiring. I will leave a link in the description so it's easy for you to find. Uh, this is the joystick here. You can see there is 5 volt and ground. I will show you a joystick picture here uh, on the side so you can see the wiring. But 5 volt goes to 5 volt on the Arduino. This is your Arduino here, and the ground goes to ground. These are very easy and straightforward. You have the VRX and the VRY. Those go to analog 0 and 1. So VRX goes to 0, VRY go to A1. You have this other pin that's called SW. This one go to digital pin 2, so that goes to D2. Uh, let me show you the picture here real quick. So this is the joystick. And this is the connection with the Arduino. Again, you have pin two and you have A1 and A0 here, and you have five volt and ground. So again, I will leave a link in the description and I will show you a picture here image on the side so you can pause the video if you need to. Now let's take a look at the code. One last thing here for the wiring before we go over the code, uh, let's look at the servo cables. We have three wires. One is ground and the other one is VCC. So that's voltage and ground. And this is the pulse with modulation. This is the data pin, which is gonna go to pin 11. As you can see here, this is the Arduino and this is the servo. Uh, you have the pulse pin, which goes to D11. Servo uh, positive or red wire goes to five volt. You can probably use three volt and that should be fine. And the ground pin, which go to the ground. Now let's take a look at the code. Let's flip to the Arduino IDE and look at the code I have. By the way, I copied and modified the provided code from MicePlay, which I will leave a link in the description for it if you want to download the code and modify it yourself. But if you want my modified version, I will leave a link also to my GitHub repository where you can get this exact code for free and you can just copy and paste. Uh, here is the servo library. So this is for the servo. This is the constant for the joystick pins. Uh, as you can see, a zero and a one. We have the SW going to uh, digital pin two. This is the setup. So first we're attaching the servo and it goes to pin 11. And down here, we have uh, our input for the joystick. And this is just for the serial monitor to initiate some communication. Uh, this is our loop function here. I'm just printing some things to the serial uh, monitor so we can see, and at least it helps with troubleshooting. Uh, I am writing the uh, analog angle for the X axis from the joystick to the servo. So as you can see here, this is the servo right. I am dividing that by six. I found that is like the sweet spot because the servo can go from like zero to 180, which was like a nice movement to make it uh, clear and visible for the video. Uh, you can adjust this and pl probably play with this value if you want to get a more range or less range if you if you would like. Uh, here is just outputting the uh, other angle, which is the Y axis to the serial monitor as well, and the button. Uh, down here, there is a small delay of 10 uh, milliseconds. You need that delay for the effect to get the reading and update the servo. So you need some sort of delay. If you increase the delay, there will be some lag between the servo and the joystick movement, but you need some delay for it to work. Uh, that's all I have for this video. So uh, I will leave all the links in the description 
and uh, you can just copy and paste. Hopefully, you can try this for yourself. Let me know what you think in the comment. Thank you for watching this one, and I will see you in the next one.